October day, two degrees. Oh, actually, it just went down one degree. <laughs> one degree. We're going to run a mountain. Aren't we, Carl? Woo! Going and up Enderby Cliffs. Enderby Cliffs today. Tiga, are you excited to run up Enderby Cliffs? <laughs> Carl and I drive through Enderby all the time on our way to Vernon or Kelowna. There are signs along the highway indicating the turnoff to the Enderby Cliffs and you can actually see the cliffs towering in the distance when you're driving on the highway. So we knew that the view from the top would be absolutely epic. The best time to visit the Enderby Cliffs is between April and August. So with only one weekend left in October, we decided we should definitely prioritize this trip. There are instructions on the BC Parks website to find the trailhead, but you don't really need that because Google Maps will take this straight there without any issues. You do have to drive for 1.6k down a dirt road, but during the summer and fall months I don't think you should have any issues. We made it! Enderby Cliffs Provincial Park. Okay, starting our run up the Enderby Cliffs Trail through 7k to the summit. The trail winds its way to the summit with lots of switchbacks and an elevation gain overall of 1150 meters. Along the way, the trail emerges several times from the forest to look up various vistas over the valley below. And make sure you don't turn around early because the most impressive view of all is from the very top. For some reason, we thought it'd be a good idea to run up the trail rather than to hike. And for context, we run here and there maybe three or four times a week just to keep fit, but we really haven't gotten into trail running much. But we decided, you know, it'd be a good idea to start with a 14k trail run that took us about two hours round trip. My quads were absolutely destroyed after this run, but the views were definitely worth the pain. We're at the top of the Enderby Cliffs. It took us a good 6.6 .6 kilometers and about 58 minutes to get to the top. It was really tough, but worth the view. Phew. The Enderby Cliffs were formed 50 million years ago by a combination of lava flow and glaciers carving out the lava fields during the ice ages. The cliffs really do make you feel like you're witnessing something ancient or prehistoric. And the vast view from the top really puts a lot of things into perspective. You guys need to hike up or run up this trail because it's another gem in the interior of BC. Hope you enjoyed our video of the trail run up the Enderby Cliffs. Subscribe below so you don't miss any more of our videos in the future. We'll be traveling and trying out different places in the interior of BC. I just want to